Hello and welcome to the Notary News Channel. This is a forum for all things notary and some things not. Please be sure to like and subscribe so that you can be notified when the latest videos are posted. My name is Desiree Roman Rodriguez and I am a subject matter expert in all things notary in the state of Illinois. I am also an enrolled agent credentialed by the Internal Revenue Service to prepare taxes, troubleshoot tax issues, and represent taxpayers all the way up through the U.S. Tax Court. This week on the forum, as promised, we will be showing the tutorial on how to use the self-employment notary news channel app that has been free for all of the subscribers through the end of December. Once January began, then the app is no longer free. You would have to pay for it. The app is available in both the Apple Play Store and in the Google Store. So if you haven't downloaded the app, you want to make sure that you go ahead, download that app so that you can keep track of your notary fees that are going to end up being exempt from self-employment tax for the next tax year. So we're going to jump right in and get to this tutorial to show you how you can use the app, how you're going to enter in the information, and how you are going to keep track of that notary fees that are going to be exempt when you file your tax return. So once you have downloaded the app to your phone, or you can download it to your tablet, and you might want to keep track of it on your tablet just because it's a bigger viewing screen. And for the purposes of demonstrating how this is set up, I am using the tablet so that you can get a, a good clear view of how it's it's all gonna work so once you download it you'll see the icon you'll click on the icon and it will take you into the app itself now it this I've pre set up some things on here but when you first um, download it and open it up you won't see the appointments side you'll only see the setup side so for this tutorial, we'll go through and t t through the setup. You'll see that I have already indicated that I notarize in Illinois and the notary fees that we are allowed to charge has already been set up there in the uh, app. And you would do that by clicking the uh, setup button and it will take you to the initial setup. And so then that initial setup allows you to Put in the name of the business of your business so that you put your company name in and then once your company name is in you will then select the state and so for for those notaries that border on us on one state and is are able to work in two states so for example if you're an Indiana resident you can be a notary in Indiana and you can be a notary in Illinois and so for you you are able to generate revenue and do notary work in both states so for you you would indicate your first state as Indiana and you can scroll down all of the states are listed here you would select Indiana and for this one obviously I did Illinois and then you would select your second state as being Illinois okay so that would be how you would set that up if you are from Indiana so let's go ahead and change that to say Indiana and then so now as an Indiana notary I can notarize in both Indiana and Illinois now for the Indiana fees I believe it's ten dollars a notarization for Indiana and then in Illinois you're gonna add in um, it and this is just for um, Illinois I mean Indiana and then if there is more than one fee that you are allowed to charge in Indiana you would add that additional notarization fee here and if you are allowed to do remote notarizations in Indiana you would indicate that here and you would enter in the fee that you charge for your um, remote notarizations and then for the state of Illinois obviously you're putting in this the, uh, what the fee is for the subsequent state and then 
um, it's just flat fee so there's no other additional fee and right now Illinois is not doing a remote online notarizations we will be able to do that this year but it's not set up yet so we can't do that quite right yet but as soon as that has been passed and we're able to do remote online online notarizations you'll want to come back to your initial setup screen and set up your ron fees so then once you click the submit it'll show the states that you are actively notarizing in and what the fees are going to be for those states so once you are done with that initial setup then you'll go to um, putting in the information for making your reports by going to the bottom here. You'll see appointments and then you'll get the calendar that will show you um, what days you have appointments scheduled. So you'll see these little red dots and those little red dots lets you know that there was an appointment scheduled on that day, how many notarizations were done. There's appointment on that day as well. So for the sake of setting up an appointment, let's go ahead and say we had an appointment on Monday that we did not enter. You're going to press the plus button and now you'll be able to enter in the information. Let's say you had an appointment at one in the afternoon and it was, uh, you're going to enter in the customer's name. It'll be a customer, uh, you, and then the appointment will say was for, um, Indiana and then in we're gonna just say we had one acknowledgement and that was the only fee that we had we didn't do anything else if there was going to be more than one signer you would click this green button here to add an additional signer and then um, adding an additional signer means so let's just say there was a spouse you can go ahead and add an additional um, signer add an acknowledgement for the spouse and so for that day you would be done with the number of appointments you had one appointment you did two acknowledgements for one signer and a second signer and then click submit and now that will show you the information that was generated by entering that report um, information so you had two notarizations done for twenty dollars in fees so now here we've got appointments on the 10th the 11th and the 13th so now we want to generate our report so we're going to click here where it's reports and we'll generate the report for indiana and we'll click generate report you'll have to agree to that disclaimer and then here you're going to see how many notarizations were done and how many fees were collected for that time period for those for that state okay and so none for illinois and only um uh notarizations for indiana and so you'll see you had 160 dollars of fees that you would then subsequently use to um uh, not pay self-employment tax on this amount this is what would be excluded when you are filing your taxes at the end of the year so of course when you are generating your report you're gonna want to make sure you're putting in the start date and the end date and make sure that the end date is the day after you are done with your appointments because if you include the day of your of your report appointments it won't calculate that day it has to be the day after your very last appointment. So if you've finished your appointments December 31st, then make sure that you include January 1st of 2023 to give you the full year and to make sure it includes all of your appointments for the entire full year. So that's going to be what this will look like when you are finished you can ready to do another appointment you just click here and you will start with a new appointment okay once you finish entering your information you're done and then um, always you're going to enter in the name of the customer so that you know who you were with and you can track that if, if, if ever the irs needs for you to track it and we'll try another one here using the different state and let's just say we had one signer that had two acknowledgements and two giraffes. We'll submit that. That's going to show up there as for notarizations. 
Now I'll go to generate the report. I'm going to include through the 15th and then generate the report. And then it'll show me for Indiana the same amount. But now we're going to see for Illinois. Now we'll have a report for Illinois. And clicking home will always take you back to home so that you can again set up your appointments if the fees change like they will for Illinois this year you can always go back into setup and uh, click the uh, little wheel button here at the top and you can make changes to the fees I believe the fees are going to increase to three dollars for Illinois and then we will be able to do um, remote online notarizations and then we'll be able to charge that fee I believe it's gonna be $25 um, when it's all said and done then that's how we would make the change and then now it's gonna show up the fees that we are charging for Ron fees how much we charge for a first notarization how much we charge for subsequent notarizations okay so I really hope that this was useful and that it was helpful to you if you were having problems and you weren't quite sure how to use the app. So hopefully this will save you tons of money come tax time. If you have any questions, you can always send an email to info at romanendeavors.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.